My name is Amy Studebaker. I am based out of St. Louis, Missouri, and our firm is Amy Studebaker Design. I am most known for our use of color and texture and mixing old and new. In all of my projects, you're gonna find something with history and something that is fresh banking new out of the factory because I love bringing in that historical factor and interest from a vintage piece, an antique piece, um, something mid-century, because again, like I feel like when you bring those new and old items together, it really creates a warm space. We were just given this guest bedroom. Um, a couple days later, we found out that we actually inherited a hallway as well, which we were so thrilled about because it gave us this grand entrance to our space. My first step to creating our room was really, of course, the layout and the function of the space. It was technically a guest bedroom, but I didn't want it to be just a bedroom. I wanted to be able to make it a multifunctional space. So with all of this natural light that we have in here, I really felt like it was a great place for resting, relaxing, whether that's on a bed or on a sofa, being able to set your book down on a cocktail table, have lots of light. I find something that inspires me. That's my very first step. I don't have any preconceived ideas. So I was inspired by the Lissue Rose by Sewn Britain. And it's actually a textile which we utilized on our wall by backing it and making it a wallpaper and then also um, creating window treatments out of it so that we could really envelop ourselves in this fantastic fabric. I really wanted to bring the outdoors in so I selected a fabulous soft color from Benjamin Moore and just bathed all of the trim work, the ceiling, everything in this green so that it one spoke very well to our sewn Britain textile but again brought the outdoors in to create the garden like feel. I love creating a moment with the bed and a lot of times that involves maybe a canopy of some sort. So in this room, I chose to basically surround all four corners with this wonderful textile from Cowton and Tout on the inside and then a Schumacher on the outside. I selected reds and blues to pull from our sewn Britain wallpaper, but I put the blushy red on the inside because I felt like when you're in there, this blushy red is just gonna bathe your skin in this wonderful glow and who wouldn't want to feel fabulous while laying in bed and napping or reading. You feel like you're just encased in wonderful coziness and it makes it very easy for resting. So a lot of times we'll create a great bed moment with a canopy. Hi, my name is Scott Sanders and my firm's name is Scott Sanders LLC. Based in New York and Palm Beach. People describe my work as inviting, comfortable, approachable. There's days that we do lots of color, certain projects are very colorful, other ones are very muted. So it's really just about creating spaces that um, you want to be a part of. Things that you're always gonna see in my projects is probably the color blue, rattan and bamboo. Vintage pieces are very important and we do love stripes. Welcome to my room. It's the family room. We are calling it the Palm Beach Story. We are celebrating all fabulous things that are Palm Beach. Rattan, wicker, bamboo, lucite, chrome, blue of the ocean mixed vintage pieces and modern pieces. There's a lot of pattern, but then the walls and the carpet are basically the same ground of light blue, which gives it a cohesive feel, and then all the other things sort of pop off of it. We skim coated the stone, and then once we skim coated, then we wallpapered and we did a really beautiful Philip Jeffries um, grass cloth. And that started to sort of warm up the room. And then we added the layer of the rug, which again, you know, added another sort of level of warmth. I wanted one incredible standout piece, and I was thinking, oh, you know, the ceilings are really high, it needs to be a really big piece. And our Gablack Gallery is one of my favorites, and they represent an artist um, by the name of Lisa Ann Auerbach and she did this collection of incredible knitted pieces and it's library books. Something that would be funny 
and interesting people would talk about and then it was nice because it balanced our bookshelf which is across on the opposite side of the room. I'm David Frazier. Uh, our firm is David Frazier and we're based in New York City. I think people describe our work as a kind of blend of both classical and modern styles. A handful of projects in New York City that uh, range from pied -a terres to uh, kind of full floor loft apartments. We always have a good antique, usually, you know, kind of classical um, uh, English or French wood furniture. If a client's game for it, usually uh, some sort of like taxidermy or um, natural curiosity. This is a hallway or family entry uh, that leads onto the laundry room in a powder bath. When we first saw this space, we had like a natural stone baseboard, stone cornice that we decided to paint just to lengthen the walls. A very unattractive door that went to the garage here that we decided to cover with the drapery and create a vignette. And I think the most kind of dramatic before and after uh, is here in the laundry room. This space was inspired by Palm Beach, so the neoclassical elements, the medallion, the bust, done in a little bit more contemporary, clean way, um, and the patterns and the fabrics and the textures that we used. It's a fairly tight, you know, nondescript space. Um, so one thing we wanted to do is to almost treat it like it was, uh, you know, this cabinet of curiosities, 18th century engravings and the brackets with the coral displayed. One thing that was really important to us was to have a great line of sight that didn't feel like a dead end. So we, you know, created this kind of serpentine screen that sort of cradles the bust and pedestal. In this space, we chose this really great Benjamin Moore chocolate brown paint. It's actually called Bittersweet Chocolate. In a small space, if you paint it dark, it actually does feel bigger and has more depth and more interest. We're in the laundry room. Uh, our starting point was this beautiful acanthus leaf uh, fabric from Sewn. We're typically not big pattern designers. We chose one pattern on the walls, skirted below the counter, um, and acts as the drapery too. We actually kept the existing base cabinets, skirted it to create more storage, conceal the washer and dryer, provide storage. It conceals kind of all the junk, the existing uh, millwork here. And also just to kind of soften it and make it um, more interesting than regular millwork. We did replace the countertops with this beautiful uh, soapstone and created a ledge for you know, display or um, also for storage. I'm Danielle Rollins. I am based in West Palm Beach and New York. My firm is Danielle Rollins Interiors and Home. We have a home shop on Georgia Avenue and a new pop-up concept that we do weekly, changing artisans and vendors. And we opened in December and it has been a runaway hit. I am known for interiors that are sinfully comfortable, that have luxe layers and beautiful soft lighting. I have done projects in Italy, Doha, I have done them from San Francisco to New York. Um, I am particularly happy to be based in South Florida now. I'm a have job, will travel kind of girl. So we envisioned this as a place that you could come in for a post swim nap, have cocktails. We started with a beautiful Angelo Dangia armor that we turned into my now signature barmore and we changed the inside configuration to make a very luxe layered bar. I'm a good drinker, what can I say? I think it's great to have a piece that gives scale to a room with height, and I like a well-stocked bar, but I like one that's very, very organized. We designed this acrylic and cane bar tray based on one that I had seen in Christian Dior Home, done by Doris Brenner in the 70s and we recreated it, it's shoppable. In fact, everything in the bar is shoppable, so anything you see in here is available on my website. To me, the inside of the bar more is a mini room. 
Oftentimes, I don't have the wall space that I need, and I have a lot of art. I like living with it. And so we put an Irving Penn piece in here with another a photograph from a local photographer and friend of mine. We have a few Helmut Newton pieces up at the top, and I like stacked art. I think they give some kind of warmth and depth and texture. And then we had two really beautiful Enrique Garcia coconut lacquer husked tables that we made into a console. And then we commissioned this massive seashell mirror. And you can see it in pictures, but until you see it in person, you really cannot judge the scale of it. Some of the seashells are as large as my head, and it is nine feet tall by five feet wide. So it was a feat. Um, this artisan made it for us. It took her six weeks. It took six men to get this in. And to me, it was sort of the wow moment when you walk in, which I think every room needs to have one thing that when you walk in, it takes your breath away. And then the rest of the layers should unfold themselves to you. So we introduced a new fabric. It's a batik print that I designed. It's called Carlisle, named after my middle child. And I think it's really beautiful. It's based on an uh, antique batik print that I had seen and had it reimagined digitally and really put in the layers. And I think it really captures the feel of the room. And we also did only that one print in here. And I like doing one print in a room. It's an instant pull together and it makes things look neat and crisp. My name is Katie Ritter and the name of my firm is Katie Ritter Inc. My office is based in New York City. People describe my work as comfortable, practical, colorful, unexpected. I use a lot of craft in what I do. A lot of artisans, that's really important to me. Embroidery is very important to me. Custom furniture, shapes that you don't see. This room that we are sitting in right now was a white box with purple velvet curtains. I started with the wallpaper and then from there, I went to the carpet, an antique carpet, and that was a set size. So I had to decide pretty quickly on the carpet. I added a lot of floral fabrics, rattan, things that people thought of when you're in a tropical place like Florida. I wanted something living. I've got my tree. I wanted a lot of tactile elements. Velvet, a very flat velvet, caterpillar fringe for my sofa, paint, lacquer. I wanted you know a lot of different materials. And I've got the water. So it's a lot of blues and greens, and so we really played up the blue and green theme with a little bit of coral thrown in, a little bit of lavender. When there's a lot of light, you can really get away with using a lot of color. I think this room feels very calm and layered and sophisticated and unexpected. Hi, I'm Honey Collins, Honey Collins Interiors. We are in Essex, Massachusetts, but hope to be in Florida soon. <laughs> I am known for mixing traditional with a little bit of modern, sometimes bold color, but I really love to create a curated interior. Each piece has a certain amount of personality and character, and so I always include antiques. My mother was a designer, so I'm really inspired by her, and really this room was sort of a tribute to her. I was giving this outdoor upper balcony. It did not have a ceiling on it, so it was totally exposed. So it was very daunting in the beginning. So we covered the entire space to create a room. And so we have three different sections, a sitting space, a bar, and a dining space. Um, and it's definitely, hopefully, super comfortable, but you could spend all day here if you wanted to. I think the first thing I started was the color palette. Obviously, you've got a view, which is the beautiful blue water. So this Raoul fabric was the first thing I chose and sort of worked from. Um, it was also my mom's favorite color, aqua. So that sort of really inspired the whole space. Um, I knew I wanted to cover the sectional in it to give a little bit of you know color and texture on this side of the room. And then I love this marble that I got from Prime Stones, which I think gives sort of a masculine feel and sort of counteracts the sweetness of this fabric. The floor is a painted indoor-outdoor sisal, and it 
I think brings the entire space together. Our favorite is our mascot, Luigi, who's right there, who's an Italian grotto. <laughs> and then we have a dining space all the way on the end for your breakfast or whatever, your lunch. The dining table I bought in Atlanta from an antique dealer down there, and it is an, an Indian piece that had originally been the dark brown that you usually see, and he bleached it. So I think that's what makes it so interesting because you can actually see all of the textures. I think overall, I hope it feels like a space that's comfortable. Again, a mix. The magic is in the mix, you know.